Okay, so we're going to look briefly at the graphs for the six trig functions. Um, primarily sine and cosine, we'll try to get tan done, maybe cotan. Uh, we'll see how we do at secant and cosecant. Uh, to be honest, if you don't remember what those graphs look like, it's probably not going to affect you in any way. Uh, but let's start, with, uh, let's start with sine. So we know that sine has zeros. at all the multiples of pi, right? Um, we know that it hits its maximum value at pi over two, right? Sine of pi over two is one, right? Uh, at three pi over two, it's down at minus one. Same thing at minus pi over two. Minus three pi over two, it's back up at one, okay? And the sine the sine graph is all, all often referred to as a sine wave. It sort of gently oscillates back and forth between these values. So you get something that looks sort of like this. Okay, and then that graph just keeps repeating forever. So it just keeps oscillating up and down. Okay, so this is the graph y equals sine x. Okay, if we're taking this as our x axis and this as our y axis. Right? Um, on the same set of axes, we can plot cos. Right? So cos has its zeros. at the odd multiples of pi, pi over two rather. Um, cos of one, or cos of zero rather, is equal to one. Cos of pi is negative one. At two pi, we're, we're back up to plus one. At minus pi, cos is at negative one. And at two pi, we're back up to plus one. Okay, and the cosine graph It goes in much the same as the sine graph. Okay. Like that. Okay. So that's y equal to cos x. Okay. Um, in fact, one of the things you might notice is that the graph for cosine is just a translation of the graph for sine, right? Um, the sine graph is just shifted over by pi over 2, um, and that's, that's no coincidence, right? So, so one of the things that you'll notice is that um, sine of, of x is the same thing as cos of, of x minus pi over 2, right? Um, so that's, that's one of the things that you might notice, right? So when, when, when x is equal to 0, right, um, cosine is equal to 0. When, when x is equal to pi over 2, we're at 1. Yeah, so that works out, okay? So you do have this, this kind of translation property between the two of them. We have this relationship. Um, all right. Now let's look at tan theta. So um, tan theta, we notice that there are these gaps in the domain, right? And I mentioned that those gaps are vertical asymptotes. So for tan, first thing we have to do if we're going to plot tan is we got to mark off those vertical asymptotes. Okay. So those, there are those asymptotes for 10. Zeros at the integer multiples of pi. Okay. Uh, and the other thing you've got to work out is, is which way is 10 going on either side of those asymptotes. Um, and so we know that it's positive in the first quadrant. Um, you can work out that it's, it's negative here in the fourth quadrant. Um, and in fact, what you're going to get is, is that it looks something like this. 
So from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, you get something that looks like that. And, and then this graph just repeats. Okay. So that's what the graph looks like for the tan function. Okay, uh, for cotangent, you're going to get a graph that's similar, um, but because you're flipping things over, uh, the asymptotes and the zeros, those are going to trade roles, right? Um, so now you're going to have asymptotes at multiples of pi. You're going to have zeros in between, and. I think maybe just to, to keep this video from getting overly long, we'll, we'll skip graphing cotan. If you're curious, you can always pull up, you know, GeoGebra or Desmos or any online graphing calculator and just fire it in and see what it looks like. Uh, and you'll see that it is, again, very similar to the graph um, for tan. Uh, now, for, um, for secant and for cosecant, um, let's take a look at, at secant, let's say, and then again, uh, for cosecant, the, because of this relationship between sine and cosine, there's a corresponding relationship between secant and cosecant. Um, so if I'm doing secant, let's say, so one of the things I want to do if I'm doing secant is I want to notice, first of all, there are these, there are going to be these asymptotes, again, because I'm dividing by cos. Okay, right. There are no zeros. There are no zeros. Um, secant is always bigger than or equal to one in absolute value. Okay. Um, so what you're going to get is you get a point here. Okay. So when cosine is equal to one, secant is equal to one, one over one, and then as we approach those asymptotes, cos gets closer to zero, um, and so it's going to head up to infinity because you're dividing by zero, okay? Um, then over at, at 3 pi over 2, you're at minus 1, and it heads down. Then at 2 pi, you're going up, okay? And same thing here. Down, then So you get a graph that looks something like that. So this would be y equals secant x. Um, except I forgot to label this one. This is y equals tan x. Okay. Um, another thing that you might notice, uh, worth pointing out, um, cosine and secant are even functions, right? Um, the graph to the left of the x-axis is just the mirror image of the graph on the right, right? You can reflect across if you do this reflection like that, nothing happens. Um, the other four are all odd functions. Um, so if you reflect, so if you take, say, the graph of sine, if you reflect across and then you flip, so if, you're, if you reflect across both axes, um, you will get the same thing, right? Um, so you'll see that things are kind of opposite on either side, right? Here they're, they're the same, here one's above, one's below. Um, but you have these mirroring properties um, for these. Um, so those will come in handy, those properties might come in handy for various problems that you're trying to solve. Uh, it's quite frequently useful to be able to remember that cos of minus x is the same thing as cos x and that sine of minus x is, in fact, uh, minus sine x. Um, and um, these, if you want, you can take these as, as identities. And they're the first of, of several identities that you might need to use uh, in your calculus course. And we'll look at a few more in the next video.